Yeah. Islam, what's going on? Bring them on camera. Yeah. On camera, talk about uh, PR. Aladdin. Jamming at the same time. Islam, what's going on? What's up, man? I don't know why my, my Bluetooth ain't in. <sighs> man, everybody, what's going on? It's Kellen Cash. I got Islam. He's in the dark over there. But it's it, it's he's in Colombia, so who knows what's what's going on over there. Islam, we've talked before about business, and uh, thanks for joining <laughs> in. You know, let the people see you, though, man. Trying to light skinned is always trying to be dark skinned nowadays, you know. Everybody just be who you are, it's all good. No, no colorism, <laughs> no colorism, man. Hey, but um, and we had to do this straight from the phone, the, the computers weren't, weren't letting us do what we needed to do, but um, I think that was on my end. But we're talking about PR. And for those who haven't checked out the YouTube where Islam and I, we talked, we talked for a while about business and life in Colombia. But um, Islam owns Mango Bahia, which is a vegan, vegan, right? Vegan hamburger. Yeah, vegetarian and vegan fast food tech company. Yeah, yeah. You know, I wanted to say vegan, but then, you know, there's there's always some beef between like vegan and vegetarian and someone will say, no, he's using, you know, some product that I'll probably never heard of. And yeah. I didn't know, you know, I, I just didn't know. So but, um, you know, we were talking about you wanted to know what uh, my company, CPRfirm.com, what we could do as far as PR um, for your company. And, you know, while the people come in, I'm not really, you know, what's up, Batiste Stone, all the way, Cameroon representing all the way. Um, what what we can do or what we would do, and I know we've talked about this, you know, for all the times we've talked, it's all about branding. Um, your brand has to look the part, the website. You know, I like to say it starts from the website, but nowadays it can start from the social media. Because that's the first thing that people see. And, um, you know, it starts from the social media and social media campaigns. Oh, I love how expensive they've gotten. <laughs> At least on my end, I love it, right? I'm biased because we're the ones who are doing it. But um, social media, you're just fighting for space, fighting for real estate, fighting to be seen, be heard by somebody, by, um, by customers but also by other media so they can run your stuff. So that would be like the first thing that, you know, after we analyze and see everything that you've done throughout the years, you know, but kind of talk about, you say food and tech. How is it a tech company? Let the people know. Well, that, well <laughs> that's very interesting. No, because right now we're developing some applications that's going to help us. Yeah, you know, sell more food, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, you know, it's very, it's kind of top secret, man. Okay. Well, you know, I know you're looking for that venture capital, so you never know who's yeah, no. selling <laughs> cash podcast. It'll never be too top secret because investors don't have time for it. They barely have time to pick up the phone call to hear a great idea. So, you know, I don't want to press you too much, but you got to remember <laughs> PR, I started doing journalism, you know, and, and not this uh, fake news journalism, but um, it's been a long road. So, you know, uh, I say, I say this, um, I, you know, let the people know, because I see Cameroon is watching heavy right now. Miss Pearl, Pearly Glow, YouTuber out there in Cameroon doing her thing. Um, yeah, she just, just joined, but we're talking business, Miss Pearly. Um, uh, you guys might see Islam's product in Africa sooner than you um, sooner than you think. Hopefully, 
he'll be able to get over there because it's um you know it's a great idea on trying to eat healthy. I still haven't found a good vegetarian or vegan burger that you can buy in the store. It just not I, yet. I don't, yeah, I don't like oh, any of the brands. But you know, it might be how you hooking it up too, man. You know, you oh, gotta yeah. you gotta hook it up like you know. Okay. You gotta, you gotta put some. Uh, huh. K Cash is a chef, man. <laughs> my, my 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 second job was a was a chef. Um, wow. you know, went from waiter to to chef. So I I can throw down, but it's I I don't I, I think it's the texture more than anything. Like I've had some yeah. that are have good spice, like the Trader Joe's burger has a good spice, but it's texture wise. Wow. So you know, if you guys can um, if your texture is more firm and 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 has that meaty it, it's all good but let's let me stick on the topic real quick before we can go into a, a ramp you know because like when you say that that's a good idea because some people may cook your burger terribly and you may need to have tutorials one second you may need to have tutorials um showing how you cook the burger because i've i've done some vegan um youtubes with uh egg rolls or lumpia better yet uh -huh. you know shout out to the filipinos got to get that right for my, my darker skinned asians uh they'd be mad saying those aren't egg rolls it's lumpia but um i cooked uh this one brand that i did on the youtube i put it in the air fryer and i got a cold air fryer I mean, it's cold, and uh, the owner didn't even know. She was like, oh, I've never had anybody say they air fried them. I said, yeah, man, I air fried them. They came out better than the oven. I don't like to, like, deep fry anything because I remember having a deep fryer probably have some, somewhere stuck in the kitchen, but I don't like all that oil. It's just not healthy. Got to keep the guns. Got to keep the guns right, man. So, you know, branding is a big branding is a big thing, and it's not cheap. It's not easy. That's why most people have to do it themselves until you, you know, get some of that revenue, because you're talking thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to do it right a month. Um, and that was just our thousands, right? Because some people say, "Oh man, what about the ad spends and everything else?" I mean, it can get expensive depending on what level you want to do it at. But I tell everyone with automation, you can do it yourself. It's going to take some study. But when you, after you build up that revenue, then you come to the experts and, you know, we get you right. We get you tight and make sure that, um, you know, all the, the I's are dotted, you know, how they say, and the T's are crossed. But, you know, we're, we're more than PR, Islam. You know that. I run my mouth. I'm a consultant. I tell people where the fat is or if there is no fat. So, you know, I'm quick to tell a client there's no money. Like there's no money for you to do anything extra until you do A, B, and C. Then we can go down the line. So, you know, that's that's that. So I'm running my mouth. If I need to clarify anything, let me know. Well, I mean, I think the biggest thing just to your credit is that, you know, PR is a actually adds value to your brand. You know, so it's not it's not like a bad idea to uh, if you got the budget to go ahead and do it. You know. Yeah, yeah. I was talking about Cameroon. I had my pick. I had to. That's the Cameroonian country. I mean, PR is what it is. It's PR. A lot of people want to. Um, a lot of people want to go and say, "Oh, what am I gonna get in PR?" And I say, "What are you not gonna get when you don't have it?" Like I don't even answer those questions anymore. Because people want you to break PR down um, into a science in two minutes. And, it, you know, there's no science that you can break down in two minutes where someone's going to understand it. If not, why would I have gotten a master's in this? Why would people not have PhDs and adva other advanced degrees? So it's something that every big company has, every mid-sized company has. And many small businesses have because there's not enough time in the day for you to do everything. Well, let me ask you a question. What about uh, don't, don't you like uh, part of PR is is actually instructing uh, 
like CEOs and, uh, you know, public, uh, you know, what pretty much, you know, how to address certain issues. And it's more than just, you know, the marketing. It's also that too, right? Oh, yeah. It's the crisis management, the reputation uh, management. I just had over the weekend, let's see, I had one call about some international TV, them wanting to use um, uh, some um, footage from a YouTuber um, of mine. Um, about a few days prior to that, I had um, one of the VH1, um, you know, shows. They wanted to use some footage from a client. Um, there was recently some uh, a movie dispute of was this, you know, was this footage um, going to be allowed to be in this movie? And a lot of the stuff is international since we spent the uh, since we spent the uh, summer in Africa, you know, pretty much. Shout out to to Michael, Avery, Jarrell, Darby. I believe that's the chef. He can cook. His, he can cook. Talking about chefs, I was saying I was a chef. The real chefs will come after me. <laughs> the real ones who know how to really cook it up. But yeah, PR is all of that. And you know, everyone in small business has to start at least doing their own PR, unless you just have that big budget. And if you have it, we love it. But most people don't, especially when you talk about, you know, black folk, because black folk, when they're doing business, you know, nine out of 10 times. Yeah, Michael, anytime, brother. Nine out of 10 times, you know, they're bootstrapping, still working a job like many Americans, like many people even overseas. And you're just um, you're, you're trying to get to a certain level. But it's what is that level now that you can bring somebody else in and say, OK, I need extra help. What I tell people is look at PR as a high end admin. You know, the same thing secretaries uh, are going to do. We're going to do, except when we call Forbes, they pick up. When we call Wall Street Journal, they pick up. We might have to call them 100 times, depending on the story, but they pick up. And that's all based on relationships. That's based on, you know, who your last clients were. Or, you know, the last time you were flown overseas to, you know, give some advice. And for me, for doing this so long, it's all been about the relationships. Me being who I am um, and being true to myself, not trying to, you know, being an unconventional uh, entrepreneur, that four-hour work week type entrepreneur, and telling people, maybe you're not my client, you know. If you need somebody to, um, you know, come into your office every day, We'll send somebody to your office. But me personally, I'm not coming to your office every day. Um, I have other things that I want to do, you know, but I do show up to offices when need be. But um, it, PR is so many things and you just have to find out what you're good at. And we're, I'm a consultant because even the PR folks sometimes get on me and they say, Kelly, man, you're consulting. You're not even doing PR right now. And I'm like, ah, whatever, you know. It, everyone comes in under the PR and consultant and more recently, people are like, can you manage our business? And we got a we got a department and a system for that, depending on who they are. I can't do everybody's business. The company can't because we're not there are certain things that we're interested in right now, like the influencer market. I love the influencers. Love them, love them, love them. You know, the the the, the progress they're making and knocking down the doors of the old traditional ways. It's beautiful. So let me know. Hey, let I, me know. I, I just want—I just want to tell you, Kellen. You know, with in your glasses, man. You know, I, I can see everything behind you, man. I can see everything. Man. Let me let me t let me let's let's play a game. Let's see how much I can see in the back. Can we okay. do this? Oh, we can okay, do that. So I see, okay, so I see I see three pictures hanging on the wall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see your laptop. I see a coffee mug. Yeah. Okay. Sit on the desk. I see a I door over to the right. Yeah, no, it's, it's beautiful. I see, a lot. I see a white wall on the back, the, the back, back of one. I see a door. Let's see, yeah. it's over to the uh, left. It'd be your left, right? <laughs> well, no, I don't, I don't, I don't see the coffee <laughs> mug though. But uh, my wife, my wife was in here earlier. That was her tea mug. I don't drink coffee, um, but no, but you, there may be the desk. The desk I see, a, I see everything. It's like a mirror, man. <laughs> yeah, let it be. Let it be. Let the people see, man. You might be able to see the Cameroon flag over here. 
You know, <laughs> uh, that, that's, as people, <laughs> that's as much as people. as much as people will see. You know, we ain't we not hiding nothing. We just shining. That's how we get down. Cool. I've cool. been I've been I've been sitting here for the last like ten minutes and listening to you talk, and I've been seeing everything in the background, man. I'm like, man, this is this is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. This is some cool glasses, man. <laughs> hey, man, you know, you know, you know how I do. You know how I do. No matter where in the world, it's always the same me. Um, it's all. Hey, always kind of. Me. Yeah. Hey, so switching notes. Do you remember what I when I was telling you about uh, about braces? Remember I told you. I looked at my PayPal and I couldn't believe what I paid for my bottom braces. Oh Just man! Just switching notes for a minute. Let, let, Do you remember what the number was? Wait, hold on. Let, let me let's give the people some background real quick. So Islam lives in Colombia. Our first video was how cheap Colombia was to live. He spends around ten thousand dollars a year, people. Ten thousand dollars a year to live. That's bills, food. That's everything, right? And so uh-huh. he's about to get some braces. So he can uh, stun out there. And Islam is former Navy, whatnot. So he deserves it. Whatever he wants, he can get because he was on ships all day and maybe submarines for too long. That would make most people go crazy. No submarines, no, no. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So so he's about to get these braces as an entrepreneur in Colombia. And h- how much, let the people know, are the braces? In do you remember? Do, I, 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 I want to remember. I think I told you. Do you remember what the number was? For, I know. For bottom. I, I thought it was like, I thought it was like two twenty three dollars or something like that. <laughs> twenty bucks, bro. I looked at my PayPal. It was twenty dollars, man. I couldn't believe it. Mm. For okay, bottom, okay. and then, then you pay. Two, I went even for six months, and then I pay twenty dollars, twenty three dollars every month for okay, uh, so to control. So for everybody. If you need braces, go to Columbia Islam. His his info will be somewhere in the description boxes everywhere we go. Even Anchor F, uh, Anchor.fm, you'll see it um, to all the eight places that podcast goes. $20 for braces. That's a beautiful, a beautiful spot. You know, um, I'm going to take the family um, overseas in a couple months. I, I'm not going to tell the world when I'm traveling, but you'll know. But um, we we gotta check out South America. We gotta check out South America. <laughs> Things are just yeah. That that that's you know that's a, wow. I would want to get braces. I would want to get braces. And I've I've been done with that stage in life and, and retainers and all that. But um, you know, I actually had um almost a tooth uh, knocked out at one point, and I said, you know what? Do every cosmetic thing. I ain't doing braces again. But that's a beautiful thing, man. Um, that life is is so cheap out there. But what are some of the hardships out there in Colombia as far as doing business? Are you able, as an American, still to be able to um, do everything you need? And and, uh, and are you able to raise capital? In, here's the thing: international firms are a lot easier to do business with. Okay, international firms. Uh, some of the firms that are in like here, Colombian based, I find it a little bit harder to do business because things are a little bit different. You, obviously there's things that are different in every country. You know, for example, you go to Tokyo, you have to, it's, it's, it's the culture is the, 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 the way people do business there is it's a little bit different. So you have to learn the customs when you want to do business. The same mm-hmm. thing in any country, same thing in Colombia is not as, Per, per se is neutral as is in the United States or Canada, Europe or whatever. But, mm-hmm. you know, it, it depends. Everything is in Colombia is, is, is pretty much relationship based. OK, everything's based off relationship. So before you get you start doing business with someone, excuse me, you have to form a relationship with them, you know. Okay. Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. OK. So, so you have, yeah, so you have to form a relationship and then it becomes a little bit more easier to do business in Colombia. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of American companies here and a lot of companies around the world here, believe it or not. Okay. So, so, so you got to do PR anyway, trying to get those relationships going and, and all that. Um, and, and. And how how easy or complicated is that, or is that depending on your pocket? 
and what's in it. Well, I don't. I, want, I wouldn't necessarily. Well, it depends on what level you're playing at. But I wouldn't necessarily say it is a um, is a PR thing. I think it's more of a personal relationship and just connecting with the 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 decision maker if you can get to them. I mean, I, I've I mean, I've met with uh, working on other projects. I've met with. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think of the companies. Airplan. You know, I was working with a uh, with an economist uh, for Airplan, which is like they want to do like a uh, uh, hydro uh, electric for uh, for the diesel motors to help them save more gasoline, more diesel, and it's more efficient. So I had meetings with uh, Airplan and Postabone, and Postabone is like the equivalent of Coca Cola. You know, so that was a relationship. It was a girl who actually knew the the director, executive. We sat in the boardroom and talked business. But that's usually the way it works. You got to find somebody who who knows someone, and that that that's a process, and it takes a little bit longer. You know, but uh, but it's all relationship based here okay. here in Colombia. Okay, and that Which, and that's PR, that's PR. That, that's the public relations, <laughs> the relationships you gotta you know you gotta meet. So, you know, that's, um, you know, that, no, that's, um, that, that's, that's good to know, you know, and, and I know it hasn't been easy out there for you, but you've been at peace in Colombia. Could you ever see yourself coming back to the United States? Mm, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a complicated question, man. <laughs> and here's why. There's some things that I miss about the U.S. and there's some things that, you know, I don't miss, you know, um, and uh, I mean, you know, maybe, you know, I mean, I was just in the U.S. like last year, you know, I have I had to go and uh, take care of some things back in the states, so it just, man, it just it just depends, you know. I, I me personally, I would like to see, you know, try to see the rest of the world, you know. Uh, there's so much I haven't seen, and. Um, you know, there's 195 countries out there, man. I've only been to 14, so I got a lot of traveling to do. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Um, all of us, all of us have a lot of traveling to do. And like I say, I see uh, Tesh back on here. You know, I had such a good time in Ethiopia, and I was telling you about it and how um, I fit in. So I know you fit in. They, you won't be able to go out to Ethiopia without, you know, people uh, assuming that you are just from there. You know that, dealing with, um, you know, people. <laughs> no, talk to me about that. Yeah, but Ethiopia is so open and just so, it was so friendly from Mekele to Addis. And I didn't even get to go to all the places we wanted to, but that's, uh, God willing, we'll have next year to do that. Um, to do more, but um, you know, I would definitely say check that out. You know, take a take a quick trip to Ethiopia. Um, so so I, I want to, you know, some of the people we met there. If they say, hey, we got business, and they can make it make sense, put it in writing, and and it be feasible. I want to do that all day. I mean, I don't even care about the American market like that because we're begging for. We're begging for change in a lot of this corporate business here. And, you know, I don't want to beg for change when there's um, so much money going through Africa right now and the people are friendlier and it's safer. You know, when was the last time you had to uh, be even nervous around a police officer? In Colombia, I bet the police officers don't even have guns, like the, the main ones in the city. No, they, no, they, no, no, they, no, they got guns, man. Oh, they no, do they have guns? guns. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 No. okay. Yeah. okay. Hey, in, in, in most of Africa, um, at least Africa I've been in, they don't. Military does, but most police don't. So, mm. you know, Colombia might not be not, might not be that safe. Because I don't believe Colombia, you know, people, oh, man, the drug lord, the drug, okay, whatever, man. Everywhere, I'm from Oakland, California, there was a drug war. Growing up, so you don't really. I'm not shocked. Like, oh gosh, yeah, it is what it is, huh? So you know, yeah. but they they have they have guns, but they're not shooting innocent people at least. No, 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 okay. no. You you got you got to do something really, really. You know, what I mean, pretty much if if you don't, you stay to yourself and 
You don't bother people. You know, nobody bothers bothers you. you okay. Know. Okay. Because I, I, I won't bother you with the, the nonsense that goes here daily. But, you know, with the clients that I have, I, I, I see the stories every day. Wake up to it, go to sleep to it, see the news, and you're like, ah, oh, man, what, 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 what's next? And the reason why we, I have to get out of America, I have to. Like, they don't have to, you know how they say, they used to say, hey, go back home if you don't like it, please. I have a Patreon I ha that needs love. I have PayPal. You g keep giving me the money so we can go home, support the anchor.fm so we can go back to where we, you know, whatever we came from, whatever that means when the real racists say that, I will be the first one there because I'm, I'm, I'm through with all this. This is just nonsense because when it happens yeah. to one of us, it could happen to any of us. And no one's safe, no matter, you know, what background. Um, like I said, I want to I'm not going to bother you with that news because you're in Colombia. And, and we, were, we were talking business and the benefits of being overseas. I'm going to tell you, benefits of being overseas, too. The brother's riding his bike. He's able to take care of his mother, brought her down. They're able to live a life. $10,000 a year is about their bills. And I just want you guys to breathe on that. Um Killing Cash is about to turn into uh, Daddy Daddy, and um, put. I hear I hear the the noise in the background. I'm gonna have to go put some situations to bed, um, say some prayers, and tuck some folks in. But um, Islam, we're gonna wrap, and uh, we're gonna wrap soon. You already know that. But um, let me let me go, and I'm gonna say peace right. to the people. All right, all right, all right. Kevin, be blessed, brother. All right, you too.